Hello, my name is James Brake. I'm going to show you how to manage your reviews. Now I have a test site set up and in that test site I have a default customer reviews system turned on. So I've already installed the app and you can see we have the default reviews and a lot of people want to remove these and you should. You shouldn't leave them up here and the way to remove them is simply to add a new review. And you can do that from the app settings area. So if you go to there and inside the app settings, we bring you the very first screen as a place where you can add in a review. And you might have gotten this from um, maybe Joe, Joe Doe. So you click Joe Doe. And um, <clears throat> you can just put any old email address or even leave it blank. I'll just make one up. Wait, you need to put an honest belief inside there. And then you just write in the review. It's not the most best review right there, but it's good enough. Now you can see over here that we have removed the default reviews, and your review is now showing. Now by default, when you enter in a review from this app settings area, it's automatically posted to your website. And maybe it was a test one, so you want to remove it. So you want to go into accepted reviews and just say don't publish. Now when you don't publish this though, it's going to bring back the default review. So at least get one real review into your customer review widget on Wix.com. And that's pretty much it. Um, when you receive a review, if you've configured your email address up here, um, then you'll get them in your email. and You won't need to come into this tool to do anything. You, from your email you will get the notification and you can click publish or don't publish from within site there. If you've upgraded, then you'll get the uh, also publish and respond and don't publish and respond if you've upgraded. Um, we would recommend you upgrade, but you might want to just test it out for a while first and that's totally understandable. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye.